hi and welcome to the video on functions now functions is seemingly difficult for a lot of people but i think conceptually it's a very very easy idea it's a input output game any function can be thought of as a input output box kind of a machine so you put something which is your input and you get something which is your output think of it as a vending machine you put money into it and you get a toffee or coca cola or a magazine out of that machine or your shopkeeper you give him money he gives you stuff in return money is the input stuff is the output or you slap someone right now your slapping him is input and he slaps you three times back so that is the output right so any such thing any such idea with an input and an output is a function and functions are also there in mathematics right so let's start with a very simple a toffee function think of it as a machine or a shopkeeper which is working as a function you put 1 rupee in it and you get three toffees right so your input is 1 rupee and your output is three toffees since you'll be dealing only with number can i also think that the input is 1 and the output is 3 right so the same basic idea so if you understand that if you put in 1 rupee you get 3 toffees what will happen if you put 5 rupees in this toffee function right for most of you this calculation would be very easy you've been buying toffees all your life so when you get when you put 1 rupee you get 3 toffees when you put 5 rupees you will get 15 toffees right most people will be able to solve it and there you have it you looked at something you you were not even given the function you were just given the input and output and you took out the pattern and used it to deduce how many toffees you will get in 5 rupees and the answer is 15 toffees right the que the question can also be turned around what if i tell you that the shopkeeper or the function or the vending machine gave you 9 toffees so tell me how much how much rupees or how much how many coins did you put in the machine or how many coins did you give to the trader again fairly easy question most people will be able to figure out that you have to put in 3 rupees right so very very basic ideas of function can i say now if i want to express this idea instead of in design let's say in mathematical language right basically using numbers and equation or the equal sign so can i say in my number of toffees is equal to 3 times the money money given it is in rupees right instead of toffees can i call it why half of algebra or let's say 60 70% of algebra is about giving names to things right so that you can use that idea more easily rather than the whole thing itself right so instead of saying toffees you can just say why yeah, basically your Im information has become shorter more compressed instead of money can you say x again right so y is equal to 3x can i say that is my function right x is my input y is my output i hope the idea of function is getting clear to you so now instead of y is equal to 3x if i just write fx is equal to 3x i have reached algebraic functions or the way of writing function so the toffee function will be rewritten as fx is equal to 3 into x right now this f of x means that x is the input and f of x is the output and what is the output it is 3 times the input in this case right instead of fx you can directly write y also or when you see fx you can think in your head that you mean y or z or some other variable right so basically this is an equation which is y is equal to 3x y is the output x is the input right so let's use this toffee function very very quickly if i put in 1 so if i use a function mathematically the value of x that i put in to fx is 1 so i will rewrite it as f of 1 which will become equal to 3 into x and instead of x we are using 1 so 3 into 1 gives me 3 right quickly if i want to find f of 2 instead of x i'll write 2 wherever there is x written i'll write 2 and my thing will get solved automatically so 3 2s a i will get 6 what if the input is 4 3 into 4 my answer is 12 right very very easy stuff 
So let's try a more formal looking, more scale, slightly scarier looking function. Let's say comparatively this is not scary at all though. So fx is equal to 2x minus 7. This is my function given to me. So let's try the input output. Say if I tell you what is the value of f of 1, what will you do? You will put 1 wherever there is x, right? So you will write f of 1 is equal to 2 into 1 minus 7 and then calculate the value. 2 minus 7 is 5. If I ask you to find f of 3, wherever there is x, you will put 3 and you will be able to solve the function. So f of 3 is equal to 2 into 3 minus 7. 2 into 3 is 6. 6 minus 7 would be minus 1. If I ask you to find f of 50, right? So wherever there is x, put in 50, solve the equation, you will have your answer as whatever you will have your answer as. Right? So I hope you're getting that the idea of function is very, very easy. It's a case of input, output. X is the input. F of X is the output. Or you can also call it Y. Right? Uh, sometimes you might also have two functions at the same time. So let's say FX is equal to 2X minus 7. And then the other function is, let's say, G of X, which is given as 3X plus 7. Try it out for yourself, find the value of g of 1, find the value of g of 3 and find the value of g of 50 and see whether the values that I have given are correct or not. Hit pause and try and find the value of g of 1, g of 3 and g of 50. So this part of functions was fairly easy, right? So now just to get you started for the next video, let's ask you a couple of questions. If I tell you that fx is 2x minus 7, and I tell you that g of x is 3x minus 7, what would be f of g of x, right? Don't get very scared. That means for the function, for the blue function, what will happen if the input is the golden function, right? So instead of x as 1 or 2, the whole thing x is being replaced by g of x. Find out for yourself or try it out by yourself or ask a friend, uh, figure it out what will happen. It will be covered in the next video. Similarly, find out what will happen if I put fx, take the blue function as the input for the golden function, right? So basically, we are putting a function as the input inside another function. Shouldn't be very complicated, right? So this is your thinking exercise for the video. That's it. In the next video on functions and graphs, we'll try and connect more ideas uh, connected to visual ideas of building a graph and lines, etc. Thank you and see you soon.